Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, and I am about to do it. Last we left off, we made our way to this dungeon, which is called the Catfish's Maw. I guess the catfish couldn't handle us on his own, so he had to call his maw. And this game loves fish, like the last boss we fought in, in the previous dungeon was just a giant fish, and now we're, you know, inside a giant fish is the whole dungeon. Maybe there's another fish boss and or enemy somewhere coming up soon. But hey, this enemy right here is one of the most annoying enemies in the game. Especially in rooms where you have to kill him in order to open the next door. Because you can't hit him from the front or sides, and he's constantly turning to face you. But hey, I got the compass, so like that's something to not complain about. Except that it's wasting my time telling me shit I already know. Like, oh, by the way, the compass does, you know, exactly what you expect a compass to do, and this one thing more that uh, isn't all that great. I guess it's sort of useful. But hey, we've told you about it like six times already, so, you know... Uh, we're gonna tell you one more time, because you'll find that useful, right? Man, did you see that jump? I got some hops on me. Oh, shit. I jumped over that guy's bone. Uh, don't take that out of context. That sounds weird. Here's a puzzle. Actually, I'm sort of grateful that the compass kind of tells me, like, by the way, um, don't forget to mess around with shit in this room. Whoa, there's a skull in here, but nothing to do. I'll probably have to come back there later. But yeah, it's kind of nice to know, you know, when the compass doesn't chime, you don't have to waste time looking for something that isn't there. Hey, this is what I was talking about earlier. Not, not exactly that. Uh, but I'm talking about these enemies turning around to fool me. To slow me down, you see that? Like, every time. That actually went rather quickly, but it can be much worse. As you'll probably find out later. Um, hey, I don't know why I'm messing around with enemies in here. Because the chimey chime didn't go off. So I don't need to kill those dudes. Chimey chime. Uh, for some reason, lately, I've been using, uh, oh, I've only got one arrow. I'll save it. Um, but I've been saying things such as noun e noun chimey chime and boxy box and stuff like that. Hey, so this guy's, like, sort of like a mini-boss or whatever. He's, like, one of those stealth host guys from, uh, A Link to the Past. who turns into a pile of bones, and then you drop a bomb on him. And that's the only way to beat him, as we found out in my last playthrough of uh, A Link to the Past. Not true. Sahasrala, or whatever his name, was like, oh, you can't beat them with the sword alone. And I was like, uh, bet I fucking can, and I proved him wrong. Anyway, that was in, like, a different Zelda game, so... I don't gotta talk about that right now. Arg, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. Yeah, you are. Oh shit, and now I can collect my treasure for having beaten the toughest monster in the dungeon. I've got what was inside this box. Come and get it if you can. Master Skull. That is a beautiful signature. That is adorable. Okay, Master Skull. I see your game. I will play it. Um, what is in this staircase right here? I'm gonna assume I don't need to go that way right now. And by assume, I mean I just played through this dungeon like a minute ago. And I kind of remember not having to do that. Uh, or that. Let's go this way. Let's go the way where I can step on a button. Hey, by the way, this feather is like one of the most useful items in the game. Oh yeah, that was pro. Am I going to be able to hit him with two bombs? 
right now? How fucking clever am I? I did that so fast, and then I, like, stopped to tell you how fast I was, which sort of wasted time and defeated the purpose of being fast. Arg, I can't beat you. I'm out of here. I mean, you should be, like, perma out of here, because I'll keep beating you. Ah. I was not doing it right. Hey, hopefully there's more uh, ammunition and or supplies under these pots. Give me some bombs or like some arrows would be real nice. Because then I could defeat that guy super fast. By the way, uh, make a mental note of this little thing on the side over there. You need some sort of item to figure out that puzzle and I have no idea what it would be. Something that maybe you could like shoot across a gap that has a hook. I don't know. I don't know, I have no idea. Um, this puzzle was like annoyingly annoying to figure out. Because you actually have to kill that, uh, oh, it was easier this time. You have to kill all the enemies in the room. And that guy didn't spawn until I pushed this block and walked down here last time I played through, so. Watch me be super pro again. Uh, it didn't work that time, but that's okay because I don't know because of reasons All right, I don't quite understand why I'm not hitting him there. I Guess he's only really like truly vulnerable when he's in the air when he's airborne. Arg, I can't beat you I'm out of here. That's right. You are out of here You are out of here like I'm an umpire and you are like some roid raging athlete. Baseball reference about people who get pissed off and thrown out of games. You got a piece of power, you... Uh, I wonder what's in this chest. I bet it's a key. No, it's something worse. I found a fragment of a stone slab. I fucking love archaeology, but this isn't what I'm looking for right now, so... Anyway, it'll allow me to like... Translate something. It's like basically the Rosetta Stone. Uh, I should honestly be more excited about that because that is like, you know, an incredible uh, historical discovery. But I'm just not really feeling it right now. Wow, how did I miss that guy? How did he miss me? Oh, what a weird object. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about someone else's uh, furniture. Oh, hey, I don't need to go that way at all. What I need to do is find out where there's like a map or something. Uh, did I go to the right? Did I even go to that room on the right? Oh, wait, yeah, that was totally uh, where I fought the guy that one time. So I think I can go back now, huh? <laughs> I somehow pushed that block while I was moving. But just for the shits, let's see what's over here. Oh, I fell down? I feel like such a scrub. Yeah! That fish got like the rudest awakening. That fish was like, I'm gonna jump up like a fish, blah blah blah. Yummy meow. No, the fish doesn't meow. Oh, but it could be a catfish. This is a catfish's maw. Dive under where torchlight beams do cross. I have no fucking clue what that's talking about. Just kidding, I know. It's talking about some stupid shit that I don't have to deal with right now. Oh, baby, yeah, I destroyed that Goomba. By the way, you can always get a heart from a Goomba if you jump on him, or if you land on him. I can't reach that far? I can't reach across one block? See ya. Good, there are arrows. How many did it give me? One. There was an arrow, is what I meant. Uh, well, hey, here's some more arrows. I should, uh, be a little less reckless, maybe? Nah. Makes for a better video if I am super reckless and it gets to the point where, uh, I have to play really well to, like, clutch it out. Um... If you couldn't tell, this is a puzzle for an item that I don't have right now. One that I was, like, hinting pretty hard at earlier. If you'd like to give a shot 
uh, at guessing what that item was, I will allow you to do that. I will give you one shot. Um, well, there's nothing I need in here. I can get bombs. But the compass didn't do its little chimey chime thing, so clearly there's no key in there. So, like, what's the point? Okay, maybe I have to go back to that first area to fight that skeleton boss one more time. Oh, it's right here. It's, like, to the left. Crap. I have to kill all the enemies. All the anemones. Get wrecked! He was looking the wrong way. <laughs> I jumped over him because I'm pro. Oh, yeah, that might have been like max distance jump. Ugh. I saved it. I unmessed up, is what the word would be. Okay, I think this one is gonna go extra fast. Because I had arrows to uh, attach to my bombs. That's how that works. Oh, I actually killed him that time. Hey, uh, I got, like, one of a skeleton penis or something. One of his uh, bones, if you know what I mean. No, wait, it's something else. I've got the hook shot. Who would have guessed that that's the item that I would have gotten from this particular boss in this particular dungeon? Its chain stretches long when you use it, if you know what I mean. But hey, this item makes those enemies I was complaining about much more tolerable, I guess, is what I was trying to say. And there's no reason for me to ever switch to any other item for the rest of the game, except for right here. I have to jump up to this ladder so I can reach it. But hey, check this out. This is what I was talking about. I can steal their masks when they're facing me, or I can straight up murder them when they're not facing me. Even from the side. Oh, I don't have to kill these guys. <gasps> but I want this thing. Yeah. I can even grab it with my hookshot. I can grab items. You got a piece of power. You. Uh, and there's a chest over here that I can go grab. Now that I've got this hooky hook shotty shot. You got 200 rupees. You're ecstatic! That's like a whole week's salary! Maybe. I don't know. Link probably doesn't have a job. Yes, he does. It's called Smashing Pottery. So, where do I go now? There are like a couple things that I could do now that I have this hook shot. For example, I could not become harmed by these enemies, by these lovely spike traps trying to kill me. Uh, didn't need to go here. Didn't need to get hit by that guy either. Hey, look at this shit. I can make a bridge by uh, shooting my hook shot. Ah, that fairy ran away from me super fast. Oh, and I forgot I can block those fireballs by smacking them. Well, I lost my piece of power for that, because of that. Uh, I imagine I need to do this now. Oh, shit, did you see how... I was like such a daredevil there. That was so amazing. Ugh! <laughs> Did you see me save myself there? I was falling off, and I thought super quick. I definitely didn't panic and mash buttons and happen to get lucky there. But I turned to the side and I was like, oh, I'll hook to this pot. I got this, I saved myself. You got a small key! You can open a locked door. I bet I can even open an unlocked door, too. I mean, you know. It's kind of besides the fact. Uh, well, let's go find where a locked door would be. Or maybe just one of those uh, little blocks. One of those little blocks that's got a keyhole in it. Yeah, this thing right here. Um, I kind of get the feeling that I don't need to go that way. I'm like pretty sure that I that I can save this key and not open that block. <laughs> but let me find out. Damn, the hookshot is such a powerful weapon. 
I'm pretty sure I didn't need to go through that, um, that door. That door? That block, that locked block. The block that was locked. The one that I was like, I don't need this. I was so confident about it, too. Like, I'm pretty sure I can just be like, fuck off, I'm going somewhere else. And I'll find out whether I'm right or wrong pretty darn soon. Uh, like, I can get out of here, right? I have the treasure, I've got the nightmare key. There's no reason for me to go anywhere else in the dungeon. Oh, I don't have the nightmare key. What the hell am I talking about? I know exactly where I need to go to get that nightmare key, by the way. Uh... There's a room that I sort of passed up earlier. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I had the nightmare key. Because I'm smart? That's gotta be it, right? Ugh, I didn't mean to grab this guardian acorn. That's like the worst one. That's the worst reason to slow down. Uh, well, where do I go? I think I just need to go back to, like, the beginning area. No, I need to go back to that four-way intersection. That's where I need to go. Where is that? That is somewhere over here, is it not? Well, let me find out. I keep saying let me find out. I sorta did just play through this dungeon, by the way. Here's where I wanna be. I'm like pretty sure I wanna go this way. And th that was the thing that um, that stone slab was talking about with the torches. There were torches in that room. It's telling me to dive under the water here. Whoa, who would have figured that out? Me, I would have. Because why would there be like a random uh, pool of water that you could dive into if you couldn't dive into it? Oh shit, I got the nightmare's key, okay. Now we can open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. Uh, anyway, I was still right about not having to open that one block. I did not need to waste that key, so I can just go back now. Problem is, I sort of already forgot where <laughs> I was going. Ah, uh, don't you guys love me? Oh, you lovely guys and gals out there in YouTube land. Um, was it this way? No. I mean, I clearly didn't have to do that. Ugh. I lost my triumphant music. Oh, what a weird object. Shit. I should definitely stop and look at this object while I um, am getting stabbed by a skeleton with a sword. Okay, so let's go through this staircase. See ya, fish. I thought I could make that jump too, but... I, mean, I probably could have. Man, imagine being a fish, okay? Just imagine for a second, being a fish, jumping out of the water, and then suddenly suddenly being batted by some fucking slugger with a sword, and you hit the ceiling of some room, and by the way, you've never been, like, indoors before, so first of all, being in a room in the first place is a shock. Then you just, like, hit the fucking wall and or ceiling and explode. And that's the end of your little fish life. So, 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 you are the out so, so, cider. I could go for some cider right now. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Come to wake the wind, fish. So, so, sh Key, he, he. <laughs> I shall eat you. Man, what a voice on this guy. Holy shit, there's like just a weird monster penis coming out of the floor right now. And, by the way, um, this boss is pretty easy. All you gotta do is, like, go clockwise, and when this little dude comes out, out of the wall to bark at you, you, uh, shoot your hook shot at him. It might take some time. Oh, yeah, and, uh, step three is hit him with your sword. Uh, uh, multiple times, if you want. You can even get hit, it, like, doesn't matter all that much. Oh, what happens if I fall? 
nothing. I'm playing this boss super sloppy, and I'm still, like, not doing that bad. Um, but yeah, again, it, it might take some time. Tisk tisk. You don't s seem to know what kind of island this is. Ki he he. What a fool. Ki he he. Uh, what kind of island is this? A tropical island? A desert island? Uh, a floating iceberg? Anyway, that's like the end of this dungeon. <laughs> Okay, I guess you can't grab it with a hook shot. Hey, I found a musical instrument. You got the wind marimba. That was a pretty dope tune right there. That was like that was like some cool vibes it was sending my way. I enjoy music and am neat and hip. Shrine! An island secret in the shrine. No, I, nobody is allowed to know about it. I can't tell you. I know a secret, but that's as as much as I can say. Hey, um, I just beat a fucking dungeon, which is like basically a great place to stop an episode if you happen to be like, I don't know, recording a, a, a let's play for YouTube. So that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great.